What's happening? It's Shane here. So today we're going to be talking about high paying entry level careers. And these are going to be careers that you can get with no education, some education, or a lot of education. Because not all careers and not all degrees are created equal. When you see the median or the average number for how much you make at a career, it could be that the first five to 10 years you're making almost nothing. And then all of a sudden you start making really good money, or you might start making really decent money right off the the bat. And there are a lot of people out there who don't want to live through their 20s and early 30s living off of peanuts. They want to actually have a fun time when they're in the prime of their life. And so this video is for you. These are careers where you're going to start making really good money right off the bat. And also this isn't always true, but it kind of is a good sign or a good hint. But if you are making really good money right after graduating or just right off the bat when you first get into a career, that's a pretty good sign that there's a lot of demand for that career right now, right? So there's some careers that historically have been pretty good, but they're kind of on the decline. And so for that reason, when you first enter it, you're probably not going to make nearly as much money. And then there's other careers where they're on the up and up, right? So they are careers where in the next 20 or 30 or 40 years, they might be the best jobs out there. Now, that's not always true, but it is something to keep in mind when you're thinking about these. The first one on the list we're going to talk about is software developer. So this is a career where you could get into it. Most of the time people are going to have bachelor level degrees. A lot of the time they'll graduate with a computer science degree. However, there are some cases where you can become a software developer without having a degree at all. You can take boot camps or you can teach yourself. Now, it's probably going to be a lot harder for you to get your first job and you're probably not gonna get paid as much because they're not 100% sure that you know what you're doing. But if you're someone who's really good at teaching yourself like an autodidact, that can be a good option for you. For most people though, they'll probably end up going to college, getting a degree, and then starting their first job. And software developers make on average around $107,000 per year. And it's not uncommon, especially if you include bonuses and stock options, never mind the benefits that the technology industry is really well known for, for people to make 70 to $80,000 right off the bat in their first job. Next one on the list, and I'm gonna kind of breeze through these next three just because they're such broad categories, but I definitely want to mention them. But next one on the list is going to be sales. Now, there's so many different types of sales. This could range all the way from, you know, somebody who helps you out at a store. They're like, oh, is there anything I can help you with? But then they get a small commission for the sales all the way to somebody who's kind of like a high ticket salesman, which technically is what a real estate agent is, right? So there's so many different types of sales jobs out there. I have personally worked several different types. I think sales is one of those uh, jobs that pretty much everybody should do. Even if you're an introvert, you are going to get so much out of a sales job. It's it's gonna teach you soft skills, it's gonna teach you how to come out of your shell. Cannot recommend doing a sales job highly enough. And on top of that, usually in sales, you're gonna have like a base salary, which is relatively low, and then you're going to have commission. And if you are good at your job, if you're a good salesman, you can get paid bank right off the bat. So how, much, how much money you made? 70,000 last month. Again, not uncommon at all for people who go into sales, especially if it's one of the better sales jobs, to make $70,000, $80,000 in their first year. And that's without a degree at all in many cases. Next one on the list is gonna be another category. And again, this is kind of a broad category, but it's people who travel professionally. So this could be something like airline workers or cruise workers. And a lot of the time you'd be doing a job that you would normally be doing, but you're just doing it on a cruise, for instance. And generally speaking, these types of jobs tend to pay more. And the reason for that is because most people can't do these types of jobs because they have other obligations like a family, right? So it's very difficult to work on a cruise, for instance, if you have an entire family. You're not gonna be able to see them for sometimes weeks or months at a time. And so most people won't do it. And because of that reason, there's less demand. And so therefore, in order to incentivize people to work in these industries, they end up paying them pretty well. And a lot of the time they have really good benefits too. So for instance, many airline workers get to fly all over the world for free or very close to free. And then another one that's loosely related to travel workers is truck drivers. So in order to get your CDL, in order to become licensed to be a truck driver, it usually only takes a few months. And truck drivers very often can again make 70 to $80,000 in their first year. And there's a lot of upward mobility as well. So for instance, if you own your own rig, it's not that hard to pull in two to 300 
100,000. Again, this is a pretty tough one if you want to start a family because you're probably going to be away from them for weeks or months at a time, but very, very solid option. And I thought I would mention those. Those are very broad categories. Next one is going to be a financial analyst. And basically they are going to analyze data and collect insights to help other people make financial decisions. Now, when it comes to any job in finance, a lot of the time it's very high risk, high reward. So there's some jobs out there that aren't gonna pay you very much, but if you are an overachiever, you do really well. It's almost like a sales job where you can get into positions where you make a ridiculous amount of money. We're talking hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars a year in a job. Now, generally speaking with this one, you are going to have a four year bachelor's degree in order to get into it. But yeah, for the right type of person, this can be a very solid option. Next one on the list is going to be paralegal. So paralegals are basically going to assist lawyers and do a lot of the administrative and paperwork side of things. Now, one great thing about paralegal is you can usually get into it with a two year degree. So it's on average like an associate level degree in order to become one. And the law industry is kind of another industry similar to finance where it's very high risk and high reward. If you work for a very prestigious practice, you can go in as a paralegal making very good money. We're talking somewhere around 50 to $80,000 a year right off the bat. Next one on the list is going to be a web designer slash UX designer, which is user experience. So this is an interesting one and you'll see this with a lot of technology related careers uh, because a lot of people who go into this do have bachelor degrees, but a lot of the time they're there are shortcuts. So you will see people who get into this with an associate degree or sometimes no degree at all. They're basically just self-taught. And you can start off making over $70,000 a year as a web designer. Now again, not the easiest thing in the world to learn this from like a boot camp or like self-teaching. Not everybody can do that. So for many people, it would probably be a good idea for you to go to college. But for the right person, that could be especially good because of the fact that they won't have to invest you know, all that money and all that time in order to go to college, they can just start making money right off the bat. Next one on the list is going to be a marketer. And this is kind of a broad category as well, somewhat similar to a salesman. Now, very common to get a job as a marketer with a marketing degree, so a four year bachelor's degree. But again, one of those where you could potentially get a job without a bachelor's. And it's gonna be very similar to sales where you are probably going to get paid pretty much directly proportional to the amount of money you make the company. So kind of depending on what company you work for and the incentive structure that they have, you could start off right off the bat making 50 to $100,000 a year. I have a friend who went into a company, he started off as a salesman, uh, did really well there, and then he transferred, became a marketer, and within a year, he actually became the head of the marketing department because he just really knew what he was doing. He was just a natural at it. And he did not have a degree in marketing, and he was making well over six figures a year. Next on the list is going to be a registered nurse. And actually, not just a registered nurse because usually that's kind of the four year BSN version. And again, in health, sometimes it's different. You could go to an accelerated program and do it in like two or three years. But pretty much nursing at any level is going to make really good money right off the bat. And it's also going to be a very stable job, whether you're an LPN, an RN, or an NP, which is nurse practitioner. But for new RNs, registered nurses, they're gonna make probably minimum $50,000 a year right off the bat. Sometimes they can even start at 70,000 plus. It kind of depends on where you go, what hospital you work with, and what your specialty is. But yeah, there has been a nursing shortage for pretty much my entire life, and it seems like it's not going away. There's still a nursing shortage. So this is a very, very good one for you to get into, at least for the right person. Next one on the list is going to be one of my favorite uh, new careers that I've been studying, and that's going to be process engineer. Very similar to systems engineer, also has some overlap with industrial engineering as well. And basically you're just making sure that a manufacturing process is efficient and effective. This one of course is going to require at least a bachelor level degree to get into. But yeah, you can start off right off the bat making around $60,000 a year plus and you can go up from there. Next one on the list is going to be a database administrator. And basically databases are all about storing information, right? So you want information to be well organized, you want it to be stored correctly, but you also want it to be easily accessible but only to the right people, right? We don't want your databases to be able to be hacked, but at the same time, you want to be able to retrieve that information 
in a split second, right? So this is much easier said than done. I know it sounds very simple, but it's actually much easier said than done. Now, generally, this is another one where you're probably gonna have a bachelor's degree in order to get into database administration, but it is possible to get into it without one. And you will likely right off the bat make somewhere between 50 to $90,000 a year. And it's also one of those careers where there's a lot of upside. You can make a ridiculous amount of money as a database administrator. You can also uh, move on and become a database architect, which is basically where you design the databases yourself. So yeah, I hope this gave you some ideas of careers you might wanna look into that do have pretty decent pay right off the bat. If you found this video helpful, go ahead gently tap that like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms etc and also check out my other videos right here i made them just for you Bye.